hi guys welcome back into this video so in this tutorial i just want to show you how you can simply perform im injection especially the gluteal muscle so how do we administer intramuscular injection so we have three different areas where we always administer intramuscular injection technique so we have the deltoid muscle that's the upper shoulder muscle we also have the ventral gluteal muscle that's the around the butt and the hip we also have the vastus lateralis that's around the thigh region so in this video i just want to show you everything about what you need to know how to give intramuscular injection technique especially the gluteal muscle so before you start make sure that you wear a glove for you to maintain hygiene to avoid cross contamination between yourself and the patient then what you do make sure you get all the supplies that you require for you to perform the procedure for instance you may require a 21 gauge needle you will need an, a medication containing an ampoule you will need a, a syringe you will need an alcoholic swab for you to clean the area where you are going to perform the shot you will need a cotton wool for you to apply pressure on the area where you just want to give the shot so let us proceed so before you start make sure i would like now to give you a simple trick in which you can apply for you to give the injection safely without causing any painful and damage to the nerve sites of the patients so this is how you're going to perform so there are three methods in, in which we can always apply for us to administer intramuscular injection we have the z track method we have the drawing the imagined line that's horizontal and vertical line we can also place our hands for us to give the safe size of the injection because it's not always about from intramuscular injection um, in any way that you want because they are sciatic nerves which can cause mass muscle damage which can cause traumatic injury in the nerves vessels so that can lead damage to the patient's uh, muscles which can eventually lead health problem so i would like you now to apply this simple trick and safe method in which you can apply intramuscular injection safely so let's dive into a tutorial diary without delay delaying so what you do so when you look at the structure of the gluteal muscle here is the iliac crest and here we have the lower trochanter so what you just want is you have to create a, a you can create a z-track method or you can create a gym line you can draw in a, a horizontal and vertical line or you can place your fingers on the site of the injection on in the site of the muscle then you grasp the skin you insert the needle deep in tonight's degree angle then you can administer the drug safely so this is how you are going to perform so i just want to use this mechanism for me to locate the sites where we're going to perform the injection so make sure watch carefully so let me start by drawing an imaginary line that is horizontal and vertical oh this is how you're going to draw so this is how you're going to draw the lines so you create You create a imagined line that is horizontal and vertical so this is how you can create then when you are giving the, the, the injection in the right side of the patient then you're gonna give the injection in the upper outer quadrant of the right side of the, the muscle so this is the area where you're gonna perform the eye injection especially in the outer upper quadrant of the muscle when you're going to give the injection in the right side of the patient muscle so let us perform now what you do you get a syringe you remove the manufacturer's packaging then what you do we have a, a 21 gauge needle and 23 gauge needle so let me use the 23rd i will be using the 23rd gauge needle for me to draw the medication so first what you do you got the umbrella of the medication then you remove any air purple so ensure that all the medication is at the bottom of the uh, uh, ampoule and then you remove all the air purples then what you do you're gonna uh, prick the ampoule so this is how you're gonna prick so this is how you're gonna prick the medication then you remove the syringe from the cap you withdraw the medication from the ampoule in a horizontal upside down so this is how you're going to draw the medication then when you draw the medication ensure that you remove any air purples so you remove any air purples from the syringe before you start administering the injection then you remove the needle you put a fresh a 21 gauge needle so we always use the 21 gauge needle for us to perform the eye injection this is because we want to insert the needle deep into the muscle because if you use the 23rd gauge needle 
it is a, it, so it cannot reach deep into the muscle. So we always recommend to use a 21 gauge needle for you to insert the needle deep into the muscle to give the medication like that. So what you do first, when you locate the sites where you are going to perform the injection, first what you do, you apply an alcohol swaps. So you apply an alcohol swaps. So you apply an alcohol swaps like this. You apply an alcohol swaps on the area where you are going to give the shot. Then you get the syringe. Make sure that you remove any air purples. You remove any air purple before you start administering the drug to the patient. You remove any air purple before you insert the needle into the muscle. Then what you do, first what you do, you grab the skin like this. When you grab, then what you do, you insert the needle 90 degree angle deep into the muscle. So when you insert, you release the skin, then you hold the cap of the needle, then you are spread first. You are spread if there is any flashback. You pull back the plunger. If there is a blood in the syringe, you will not inject, always avoid. So you remove the syringe, then you start a fresh injection. But what if you insert the needle deep into the muscle like that, you release the skin, you hold the cap of the needle, and you are spread. If there is no any blood, then you can administer the drug safely to the patient. So this is how you're going to perform intramuscular injection, especially whenever you are performing it. Okay, another method in which you can apply for you and to perform the injection is you can create a Z-track. So this is how you are going to create an, a triangle. So you create a triangle. So you create a triangle in the gluteal muscle. So this is a Z-track method in which you can apply for you to administer the drug to the patient. Then when you apply the Z-track, you create a triangle like this. Then you grab the skin like this. Then what you do, you get the syringe, you insert the needle 90 degree angle deep into the muscle. Then you release the skin, you hold the cup of the needle then you withdraw, you are spread fast before you inject the medication. If there is no any blood, you can administer the drug safely. But if there is a, if there's a blood in the syringe, then you remove the syringe from the uh, muscle, then you start a fresh injection. Okay, the other method in which you can apply for you to perform IM injection, especially the gluteal muscle, is you can place your fingers so that, so this is how you are going to place. When you are given the injection in the right side of the muscle, you use your right hand when you're giving the injection in the left side of the muscle you use you use your left fingers when you are giving the injection on the uh, left side the same you apply you place your fingers on the muscles then you create a v so the upper outer quadrant in the upper outer quadrant between the index finger and the middle finger is where you're going to give the injection so this is how you're going to practice intramuscular injection so if you find the video helpful, kindly hit the subscribe button, like and share and give your comment to this video. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. See you in the next video.